Hi, my name is Aaron Kaplan. I'm uh, one of the founders of the Funkfeuer network in, in Austria. That's uh, roughly equivalent to the Freifunk networks in Germany. Uh, it's a wireless community mesh network uh, covering multiple cities in, in Austria and covering also all of Vienna essentially and almost extending to Bratislava, which is the next largest uh, capital quite close to Vienna. So um, I'm involved with the confi Confined Project. Uh, next slide, please. That's a um, project, uh, EU project uh, consisting of multiple partners, uh, multiple community wireless networks. The Athens wireless network is part of that. That's covering all of Athens, roughly 5,000 mesh nodes. Um, wireless GIFINET in Barcelona, roughly 14,000 nodes, maybe by now 15,000. They're growing exponentially at the moment. Funkfeuer, us, uh, some research institutes and universities, the Fraunhofer Institute, uh, the University Polytechnic Catalonia in Barcelona, and uh, um, a few other organizations. So uh, what we're doing in the Confine project, next slide please, is that we're building um, sort of a planet lab for mesh networks. Um, quick show of hands, who's familiar with planet lab? Okay, just a few. Okay, Planet Lab is essentially a distributed, confederated um, test bed network for uh, mainly researchers uh, trying out new protocols, like let's say peer-to-peer -peer protocols or um, uh, something like BitTorrent or whatever. Yeah. So uh, usually a university will contribute one or two servers to the project, and uh, it's quite a large confederated test network where each server has multiple slices, so it's a virtualized network, virtualized uh, uh, VMs on, the, uh, on, the, on each server, and um, there were really many very interesting results from Planet Lab. Now the whole thing is very different if you go to wireless, uh, the wireless layer, because wireless is, um, it doesn't have these nice properties like the cable, essentially. You have uh, interference, <laughs> you have lots of noise, you have lots of crappy stuff that, that really makes it totally different. So that's, that's one lesson that all the, the community networks learned, the hardware. Every community wireless network that built a network and not, was just not theorizing about it actually learned that layer one is the stuff that really sucks. Um, so we also have these wireless battle uh, mesh uh, events regularly. Maybe you have heard about them. Uh, that's where the community wireless networks folks meet in Europe every year. The next one is going to be in Greece. And you can think of, um, plan, uh, uh, of Confine as sort of a permanent wireless battle and mesh network, um, network um, you know, and uh, with, on different layers. So uh, layer one would be a virtualized network in a virtual machi machine, let's say 1,000 uh, OpenWRT instances running in parallel in a virtual network in a server. You can test code there. Second thing would be um, to have actual hardware connected with coax cables, attenuators, and you can uh, work on Wi-Fi drivers there without having interference. Um, third level would be the actual test network. And for Funkfeuer, we're going to build that in the Alps, so we're going to exercise a bit. Will be very good for my tummy. And um, yeah, so. Essentially what we're having is the community wireless networks and the R&D institutes, the universities are finally working together there. And it's not like the, the universities are just publishing about uh, wireless, wireless mesh stuff and they get it all wrong because they didn't have a real network. That was their problem. They always si simulated it in NS2. And the community wireless networks didn't have the scientific backing. So Extend I think time. Oh, thanks. So I think... Uh, that's uh, essentially what's going to happen over the next four years. Next slide, please. And we need your input. So in case in, you're in that field or in case you're into wireless community networks, mesh networks, R&D, you want to go in that direction, please contact us. Um, here you find my email address. Uh, the confineproject.eu website has some uh, background information. And that's about it. Thanks.